my mother uh, had a wealth of folk music in her head. She knew every song. Uh, she grew up uh, in a household where they sang a lot. And she used to love when the peasants came in from the field in Russia with their tools and they'd be singing. And she learned all those Russian songs. And um, so she was always singing. And my father liked to sing too. And I know at, at these uh, Oneg Shabbats, Everyone would say, Ethel, sing us a song. Yale, sing us a song. You know, and uh, so there. So many years ago, my father died when um, he was young. He was fifty-seven. My mother was just fifty, and um, uh, she used to go. They used to go together, and then she afterwards they went to Boyberic. I don't know if you know Boyberic. Hmm. It's um, Weiberich is a, sort of a camp for adults. It's a Yiddish-speaking camp. First, they used to go to Unzer camp, and I went to Camp Kindervelt, uh, which is part of Unzer camp. It's the Farband. My father was president of his Farband chapter. Um, and so, um, anyway, then f f at one point, Unzer camp closed, and uh, they made a housing development there. And my mother then started going to Boyberic. And when she went there, she went with some friends, and of course she would sing. And one day there was a full-page ad in the Yiddish Fovers. Ethel Bergman, where are you? It was, a, it was um, an archivist, a Yiddish archivist, who wanted to collect some of the songs that he had heard her sing. When my mother saw that, she got very frightened. She said, there's a crazy person is looking for me. She said, I don't know if I should be scared. But anyway, I don't, I don't even know if she ever connected with him. But so she used to sing 